Yoshi. Battlefield and Palestine. See what's gonna happen here. Let's see. I actually feel like I learned a little bit. They're striking stages. <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna take it to Smashville for game one. Three, two, one, go! Alright, you see needles coming out. KDB actually being a bit aggressive in the beginning of the match. Birdman trying to capitalize on the fact that Yoshi's in the air because Yoshi's ability to land is very, very limited. You see him come down with the down airs now. He can't do that like super often. Like, it's very predictable and he gets punished hard for it. And Yoshi does not want to be in the air without a jump. Alright. Baiting the air in a quick string. Birdman looked like he was baiting the air dodge but didn't go for anything out of it. Lands the fair. Lands another fair. Try to trap that landing with the next smash. Lands another fair. Keeping him in the air, keeping the pressure going. Kitty B landing a good grab. Looked like he was going for the read on a jump right there. Kitty looks like he's trying to bait these air dodges off of his grabs because nothing Yoshi gets is all that true. The Verge Man is always going to jump away from it. Verge Man capitalizing on Yoshi landing again. Yoshi couldn't do anything out of shield just now. He probably could have gotten a nail. And he lands a very good up smash on the standing getup read. Bergman trying to pressure his shield at the ledge. That probably would have worked very well against other characters, but Yoshi does not get shield poked with that egg shield. That's a very good raw bouncing fish. the stock. They're both 1-1 one, one right now. Yep. It looks pretty evenly matched. I see. And let's see. This is where Sheik thrives. She loves those low percent strings. So if she can land a grab or one hit, she can go crazy with it. That's already 16% on Yoshi. Yoshi using eggs to roll them out. And Yoshi, just like Sheik, landing that one hit is all he needs to go crazy with it. Time. Very big damage. You can always tell when KDB has momentum by his movement. You see a lot more dash dances coming out and more grounded play. Now nah, it's looking like it's shifting back into a neutral. KDB was throwing eggs again. He threw out that bouncing fish. Verge Man is trying to make a rebound to get up and gets the forward throw. That could have been really bad for Verge Man had he gotten hit by that. Very, very good spot dodge by Verge Man. Had he jumped out of shield, he would have gotten hit, and that would have definitely taken the stock at 134. Had he kept his shield up, he would have gotten shield broken, and that would have been an easy kill for him. That spot dodge was perfectly timed to make sure that he didn't get hit. And that was a great bouncing fish to escape that. Verge Man is not going to air dodge. A great frame trap into a bouncing fish for the first game. That was really Do you know anything about, about the game right now or no? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't.
best characters and things like that. Yeah, that would be good because your analyze is Three, two, one, go! I'm gonna give you a smash. But after this set, probably. I'm sure All right. So there we go again. She got low percents getting those early strings. Each, it, each hit adds up just a little bit because she stands up and is not that great for the combo string. Just landing eight hits is enough to add up eventually. There you see Yoshi Super Armor kicking in on the way down. Kitty V did not air dodge, he had no fear, just landed right on the ground, did not even worry about getting trapped. Verge man using bouncing fish to go away and that down air was unsafe. He got grabbed for it. But there's not much Yoshi can do off of a grab. Just positioning. Verge man snaps the landing with a throw. I don't believe Yoshi has a jump. And this is where Yoshi takes big damage. Yoshi makes it back to the ground. He's back in the air again. He uses his jump. Verge man lets him land. He goes for an aerial bouncing. Aerial needle into bouncing fish. He doesn't get the needle to connect. Forward smash connect and not gonna kill at 92%, especially on Yoshi. The air dodge into up air is going to seal the stock at 122%. Yoshi is still in down throw, up throw range. But 120 is a good percent. Especially when she is at zero, she doesn't have rage that'll push him any farther away. Birdman needs to get the kill before it gets to the point where it becomes hard for Sheik to land any guaranteed kill setups. Lands the jab combo, throws him farther off stage. Birdman needs to make something happen before Yoshi can get any confirms on him because Yoshi one confirm will lead him to huge damage and momentum. and trying to make sure that he does not take any more percent. Verge does not want any rage stacked on him because rage is both a curse and a blessing for Sheik. It helps her kill, but it stops her strings from working at low percents. She needs that percentage to do anything to Yoshi. There's no way that she's killing Yoshi at low percents. 167, Yoshi's still alive. The Verge Man is not overcommitting to anything. That was bad DI, but KDB makes it away because of the percentage he's at. That bouncing fish almost connected. It went unpunished. It's the first bit of percent that Verge Man has taken in a while. He's playing very, very passively. Second hit of jab connecting. KDB's looking for something. Very difficult to tell whenever Yoshi power shields something because of the way his shield works. He gets the read on the roll, but still she cannot do anything at this percent. Bridge is forced to look for options that are much less than optimal. It's a very slow paced game right now. KDV is trying to put on as much percent as he can with this stock. Birdman trying to find a way to close it out without overcommitting and taking any more damage. So, great egg placement to keep Birdman in the air. She cannot do anything to punish a whip up smash except for grab, which will not lead into anything at this percent. This is definitely Sheik's like shooting point. 205%. Bates the air dodge does not get the follow up. And at 100, that will kill the max rage. Beyond max rage. Okay. The game is Yoshi. running. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> this is Yoshi. Yeah.
Okay. Survival! Okay. Okay. So it's 1-1 one, one right now? Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Here we going on to game three. Mikey is not scared to sit back. Bore you to death. Exactly. All right, let's see. Verge Man's gonna take him. Get, gonna take him to Gamer? No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Verge Man looking at Town and City. All right, they're gonna go to Town and City. Now, Town and City is a double-edged sword for both of these characters. Well, not so much, actually, for Yoshi. With Yoshi's weight, he doesn't really have to worry too much about dying at low percent. This must be a personal preference for the stage, because normally I would not have taken Yoshi to Town and City with his really strong up air, but she does pretty well with any stage that has platforms to keep her combos going, and that must be what he's going for right now. So far, two players are just playing the neutral. Eggs are connecting. Eggs connect. When an egg connects, Yoshi gets huge damage off of it. He can follow up after it, much like a lot of characters tend to follow after the projectiles in this game. And Yoshi's aerial mobility helps him like weave in and out. Whenever the game resets back to neutral, KDB does not. Oh. stage again and KDB lands the fair into up air this is why town and city was not the optimal choice against Yoshi Yoshi lands very very strong moves off the top of the screen this screen this particular stage has a very very low ceiling not very low but it's low enough just for these characters to land it at a great percent KDB is sitting comfortably at 85 percent it's really old this doesn't become a repeat of last match. Bird Man needs to find a way to end this stock very quickly. It's very difficult to get Yoshi, so he's gonna have to rely on taking very little damage and spacing moves perfectly to stop to make sure he doesn't take any damage and ends off the stock. That bouncing fish almost connected. KDB looking for the read on the get up. Bridgman trying to find a way away from the ledge. You know, KDB loves to go for that down B when he believes that someone will drop shield. It's a great kill move if you can make the read. And the down B, just like I said, coming out, touching out the win. KDB wins two wins. The winner is... Wow. Yoshi.